This is the energy vibration reading for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support, likes, and shares. Um, I want to say to each person, please like, share these videos, and remember that the extended reading for this video is on demand. Okay. Some people are having because I did also share the first part of the the reading that is on YouTube on on demand and some people are having some problems with that so I'm going to remove that in this month I want to say to each and every person please remember to cross watch cross watch is very important and also go and listen to the general energies because that has a lot of information is going to be coming in in this situation with the general energies that are going to be coming in a lot of situation is going to come in so let's look and see what is coming up it is the month of the hermit it's the month of going within and looking the hermit is going to be helping you to bring down um, some negative energies negative situation that has been affecting you for a very long time the tower energy comes and it's going to blaze everything it's going to bring things to an end um, and this is good whatever is happening it's going to be ending um, situations it's, 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 it's bringing and destroying that which no longer serve you and this is good um, for the Capricorns I love this tower energy whenever I see a time of energy coming up in a reading it is uh, an, 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 an ending to a negative situation that has been going on the universal angels and guides decide to come in and remove it this month has four weeks and the general energy is fire in the two first weeks in the last week um, in the second week in the third week you have the energy of the hermit that comes back it is also the energy of the month but that is for the general reading so go and listen to the general readings because there are information for you Capricorns so we're calling up in the angels and guides and universal beam light beams of the Capricorns to come in and show us what is the energy for the Capricorns in the month of October 2018 in the first week there are some worries that there is the energy of the nine of bells in the first week there are some worries in the month of October now whatever the worries is whatever that you are worried about let's see what else is coming up in the second week second week the seven of tombs you're building on something in the second week some of you could be studying some of you could be doing an exam and you have to study but you're building on something in the second week okay so we have the air and then we have a positive second week a third week you're deciding the six of bells the third week you're deciding um, to move away from a situation you're ending a situation you're going on a new journey you're looking out for better waters you're moving forward and going on to better waters and um, you're moving out of the darkness um, the negative energies that has been there and that's why you have the energy of the tower the negative energies the negative situation that you have caught yourself up in and you're going towards um, the pure light um, and there you can see um, the rays of the pure light that is coming down and you're coming out of that darkness into the light in the third week let's see what's coming out in the fourth week for you Capricorns you have a new start in the fourth week isn't this wonderful fabulous so a new start another air energy so you begin the month with the air energy and you end the month with the air energy but this is in a positive positive um, direction you're going in a positive direction because you decide in the third week to make a change and move away from a situation and a negative situation and it's going to be working out for you as we go forward let's see what is happening to the first week and the second week for the Capricorns what is happening for the first week and the second week for the Capricorns 
what is coming up from the first week going in the second week you have the ace of bells so the first week going in the second weeks you are going to be justice you you're using your um your your communication and intellect to bring a situation to justice okay um whatever the worries was it's going to come to an end um because of your communication and you using the communication to bring a situation to an end um you're going to be justified because you have the ace of swords and this is good it's the a is the ace of bells um in this deck so this is good whatever the worries that you were going through you have used your communication and your information to bring a deceptive situation to an end um um, this is uh, so positive um, um, this is wonderful because as you leave the second week going in the third week the energy of the lovers come up this is wonderful this is a water energy this is positive emotion some of you are going to be working on a relationship with someone who you have connected with um, um, it is it, as if you're going to be working with this person but um, it's as if you realize that this is not working out and you're going to be um, removing yourself away from the situation you're going to decide I am moving away from this person it is someone from the past it is someone who came back in your life remember that Venus is in the the retrograde so um, you will see ex lovers and ex people coming back in your life um, you're realizing that this is not working out so in the third week you're going to decide to move away from this person because it's not what you are looking for okay let's see what is happening to the fourth week the third week going in the fourth week you have to find inner strength you have to find inner strength because you make a decision to move away from a situation which is no longer serving you you're going out and you're looking for better waters and you're going to be going on a positive um um, a positive uh, um, road forward you're going to be going on a positive road forward because you're realizing that a situation is not really um, serving you okay whatever that situation is it was someone from a past life or some family um, um, members because um, um, the second week you're working on something and you're going to use your communication skills um, with um, a partner or with a lover um, or with a soulmate to say hey um, I'm not sure what this is but it's not working out for me so I'm moving on okay it is as if you realize that this person have you on a string um, it is off it is on it is here it is there and that sort of a thing and you're going to decide no this is not what I want in my life I need um, to have stability in my life you're not giving me any stability and I'm moving away this could be from your family it could be affecting your family or earth family or this could be affecting your soul family but whatever the situation is you have been trying to work with it um, on it for a very long time um, uh, uh, with communication there is no communication and you're going to decide a hey, um, I'm not playing this game anymore um, um, this I'm going to be ending I'm not going to play this game anymore I don't want to play this game anymore I'm going to end this situation and I'm going to be moving forward in my life and this is good in the third week you need to find some rest in a peace and rest um, whatever the situation is you need to find inner peace and rest in the third week um, they are calling up for you to find inner peace and rest in the third week because of a situation you decide to move away the number six energies is also coming up for you guys I'm seeing this three times six is also here for you guys so number six energies are coming up for you guys whatever the situation is whatever that is transfer transferring there is the energy of the number six energy that is coming up for you guys too three times six just like the Virgos okay so there is obviously a situation that is transpiring in the lives of the Capricorn it has to do with your financial stability and that sort of a thing let's see what is the outcomes that is coming out for the Capricorns because it's as if um, coming to the end of the year things are just looking weirder and weirder for you Capricorns I'm not I'm asking another question there are some conflicts there are some family feud and conflicts you need to take you need to stand away from this there are some family feuds and conflicts you need to stand away from this you're not the only sign to get this energy um, and you can see here the six of um, fast which is a family 
um, conflicts that is happening you need to take rest you need to take stand away from this conflicts okay what I'm seeing and th this is why the energy of the tower is here because it's as if you're cleaning up a situation that has been affecting you for a long time it's as if you're cleaning up a situation that has been affecting you for a long time um, I'm asking the angels and guides to show us what is also another effect that could be coming out for you guys and you have um, a con conflict would work conflict would work whatever the situation is there are some conflicts with work whatever that is happening and transparent there is some conflicts with work or conflicts with someone in um, a powerful position there are some conflicts with work or some one conflicts in a powerful situation um, your outcomes is going to be wonderful but um, so um, a lot of you are going to be having conflicts in um, um, conflicts with work or conflicts with someone in power or conflicts with an um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius as we um, look at your month which again I can't understand what's happening um, for you Capricorns we have the nine of bells which is the energy of some worries but um, you are going to be using your communication and intellect with a family member to resolve whatever this conflict is um, and this is a conflict that has to do with um, people in power or um, a family member that wants to bring and use their power over you and you're going to be using your communication to resolve the situation as we look we're seeing um, that you're leaving a situation behind you definitely decide I am leaving the situation behind this is not working and um, you're finding the inner strength and you are trying to find inner peace in a piece you're trying to find in a piece to resolve a situation you're trying to find in a piece to resolve a situation a work situation it could be a work situation but it could be a situation that there's some power people um, is, is, is playing um, their own flower and paying their own games this is the energy of the tower that is going to bring down whatever this negative things and this is why you decided you no longer wants to work on whatever is happening you're going to be walking away from the situation because a lot of people have their own um, selfish um, um, selfish selfish it's a lot of hate and jealousy that is going on if I look at this reading and I would advise people about this a lot of hate and jealousy and you're going to be walking away from this and said I no longer want to be a part of my family um, some of you are going to decide to walk away from a relationship some of you are going to be decide to walk away from your family and you're going to say um, I no longer want to reside with you people because I'm um, this is not who I am and this is not what I want to be and this is not what I want to share um, to have in my life and this is going to be very positive if you decide to do that it's going to be very positive because there are really 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 some negative situation there's a lot of po power struggles that is plain and I really hate that sort of a thing and I will advise you guys to just move away from this power struggle if you're having some power struggle at work um, find something else you don't need to be um, um, vibrating in uh, that sort of a negative energy so so I am going to leave it here um, for this month um, for uh, you viewers um, if you'd like to see the extended readings you can use the link below to go to Vimeo uh, not Vimeo to go to on demand and you are going to be aligning yourself and um, connecting with the positive energies that are coming in so um, I want to say namaste until next month okay welcome to you um, on demand um, people welcome to you on demand people um, before I go any further I've just seen some information that is coming out in the second week um, for some of you you need to use your communication you need to use your communication with a lover with someone who is of the past life because obviously um, a lover someone of the past life came back in your life this could be someone who you're working with and you're realizing that there is a connection um, you are going to be using um, your intellect and communicate with this person said listen um, whatever this is it's not working out for um, for my benefit 
um, so I'm going to decide to make other decisions there's going to be some conflicts but um, if something is not working out for you and in your benefit why the sense you stay in a relationship or a situation okay some of you are going to decide um, in the third week to leave um, a relationship behind you are going to decide to find the inner strength and guidance to leave a relationship behind that no longer serve you okay and you need to find inner strength you are tired you are so tired you're totally out there you're tired you need a new start and you're going to be leaving a negative situation and this is why the energy of the tower is here some of you um, and it's with a family member because if you look at your general readings um, here you're seeing that your hurt family member came back um, soulmate um, lovers came in and um, you're just deciding to um, move away especially the people um, with soulmate relationship or people who have come back from a past life you're going to decide to move away you you're going to decide this is not what I want in my life I'm going to be leaving this some of you who are with a soulmate person you need to get some rest okay you're overworking yourself you're always um, on the phone or with this person you need to really get some rest and that is going to happen in the second week is as if you feel so exhausted okay alrighty that was message that was supposed to come out for you.